Hi everyone, it's Crusale and I am back with more of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. And if everything goes well, this is going to be the last episode of the campaign series of these videos. We'll be wrapped up with brains and unless new content comes out, that will be it. So once again, if you want me to do the duelist challenges or if you want to see me try and duel with particular decks, uh, just reach out to me on Twitter, CrusaleDrask at Inugami Gamework. Once again, that's Crusade Drask at Inugami Game Work. All right, uh, with that in mind, let's get started with Back to the Beginning. Looks like we're doing off against Varus, which means I should probably be using my, my Cosmo deck. Because Lord knows I really do not like fighting his deck otherwise. Or maybe he tried something new. Already not the best. Okay. There it is. Well, that's not the best way for this to start. Oh boy. I don't like this. Oh wow. Yeah, this is gonna hurt a lot. And you know what? Uh, let's see what this guy does. Yeah, I'm not gonna win. Just plain and simple. He'll just trash my monster and then I'm, my LP isn't high enough for me to actually come back from that. That did not go well. But now I'm determined to have a good a good round with this deck. Ok, 
Okay. It's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. this. That's also annoying. Yikes. I really need that trap card that makes it so that whenever a card is destroyed by combat, it goes in the graveyard. Or it goes into the, uh, goes back in the deck rather than the graveyard. Two attacks and it deals piercing damage. Once again with the freaking mass dragon. That effect. Last thing I need is for a dark hole to blow my all my monsters to kingdom come. Hmm. Oh, actually summon joy. Yeah, these boar load monsters are really nasty for special summoning. I don't want to do that other. 
effect. And that's all she wrote. Hmm. All right, last duel. Bless me. Uh, since it's the last one, I think I want to try playing my Dark Magician deck, the one that started it all for me. It was actually, it was a Dark Magician deck coming out that made me get into Yu-Gi-Oh! in the first place. I'd always heard about the show and gotten a random card here and there, but I never had a deck until I got... It was when the uh, Eradicator Magician came out. And yeah, I bought the structured deck and that's where it all started for me. Hmm... This is not the best opening hand, but I'll make it work. Right, these, these Ignister monsters. They're those Cyber's AI beings, I guess. See if he gets to a bigger summon. Dragon, 
Now we trigger. Yes, please. Let's go with Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, let's just wrap this up then. Watch it turn out that he's got some effect that happens when I special summon a monster. No, I do not want to destroy my own monster, thank you. And there we go! Ah, well everyone, that's it. That is the end. Um, and it's a bit shorter, so why don't I actually show you all some of the projects I'm working on, and I'll show you some, well, I'll do some pack on op or opening for you guys. Card shop. This is what I've, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Getting pretty far along with the original six, as you can tell. Uh... GX, still got plenty of left to do. Um, you say Fudo, it's pretty good. Jack Atlas, I'm trying to make a red dragon deck. Yeah, um, overall, gotten a good bunch of cards from most of these. A little short on this guy. Like there, there's one card from him that I'm trying to get. Oh yeah, because I'm trying to get... I'll also show you the decks I'm still working on. I've got my... Uh, Luna Light Monsters, my Red Eyes Black Dragons, my Dark Magicians. I'm trying to make an Endymion deck. Still kind of iffy on whether or not I have a good balance, but you know. My good old dog deck. Got a, got myself a tuner finally that works. A Gagaga deck, which honestly does not work at all. Still trying to polish that one out. Cyberdarks, you've seen that played. Uh, my red deck. Yeah, just using most of the red synchro monsters, red, the red dragons, red rising dragon, all that, all that fun stuff. Destiny heroes, haven't played that in a while. Just not that, not that fun for me. The Destiny heroes are a little too quirky for my liking. 
uh, Element Saber deck. I'm just short on one Element Saber card, which I'm really trying to find, but I haven't had much luck. Mole uh, Molehu. Empowered Monsters. The Aroma Monsters you all know pretty well. The Cause Monsters. Apparently I'm missing the Cosmo Farm Girl. It's kind of interesting. Um, based off of Luke Skywalker and slash Dorothy slash Rey, depending on what, what you consider there. Heroes for Hire. Uh, Mythic Monsters, based off of the Mythical Cerberus card. Not that interesting yet. Uh, Crystron Monsters. I was always just short on a few Crystron... Yeah, just a few Crystron Monsters that I wanted to be able to use. Uh, the... Uh, with the Speedroid Monsters. Another one where it was it seemed fun, but it was kind of meh. Just never really got it to work properly. Or it always just felt imbalanced. Uh, trying to make a Metal Foes deck. Was having some trouble getting the cards for that. Crusadia Monsters. You all know them pretty well now. The Marincess decks. Pretty fun. A lot of building up with those. Tenyi monsters, based around defense until you get into their link monsters. But they're all about the normal monsters too, which is kind of weird. Or the, uh... Yeah, it's kind of a funky deck. Fun, but funky. Yeah, non effect monsters. So, apparently, link monsters don't count as. If, oh, yeah, because it has to actually state that's an effect monster. So. Yeah. Um. And then my vampires, which you've all seen in action. The Sky Striker monsters, which got a nice tune-up. Speaking of which, let's grab the last of this. There we go. Trying to make an evil hero deck. Not going so hot so far. Um, just trying to find the right balance, and it's a little tricky. The Battle Wasp monsters. Apparently there aren't that many, though, because I haven't been able to complete the deck with what I've got. Seems weird to me. That there are only five of them. But maybe I'm missing something there. And obviously I can also just put in monsters that will that supplement insect types. It's all about the synchros anyways. I could probably put in one or two synchro monsters for that. I'm gonna try and build a Stardust Dragon deck because I love my Stardust Dragon. A uh, mixture of Shiranui and Mayakashi monsters. Eh, I'll see how it goes. But I, I'm also trying to have a deck for each type. Uh, the Quantum monsters. There's one more guy. These are supposed to be... It's a, sen, it's a Sendai set. Um, but I cannot seem to find the last one, who's the uh, Super Quantum Black, I think is his name. But I, I swear I saw him pop up on one of the videos, and he just never resurfaced. I don't know where to get him from. So that's going to have to be a pet project of mine. I'm also still missing the green Zord, Mecha Beast, whatever you want to call it. And now I've just discovered the Dragon Maid monsters. Don't really have a, well, actually I have my Red Eyes deck, but quirky Dragon deck. Thought, why not? Actually, with that one, uh, just got a new one. There we go. I'm also a big fan of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, so just decided to make my own deck. And these crafting monsters, witch crafters. I love spellcasters, they're my favorite thing to go to, so I thought, eh, well, check it out. Evil Eye Monsters, last of the bunch. And that's that. Let's wrap this up with a few pack and openings. Generator, Dragon Maids, nice. Latency, Abomination's Prison. The Unchained Monsters. There's also these Danger Monsters, which is based off of urban legends like uh, Nesty, Bigfoot, Ongo Pongo. All these fun things. Dragon Maid Downtime. Hello. A lot of Dragon Maid cards in that one. I like. I very much like. Arc Jet, Lightcraft, Shooting Code Talker, Generator Bosses, Abominable, Unchained Soul. <laughs> Time Thief. Right there, the Time Thieves. Ancient Warriors. The Shadows. 
Still got the code monsters going on. Defcon bird, witchcrafter, pittore. Okay. Dimension shifter, parlor, dragon maid. Doyon, evil eye, repose. Another dragon maid. Okay. Cyber's Quantum Dragon. Hello. Cyber's Wicked. Hmm. Alright. Math Max. Linker Bell. Cute. Okay. Infinite Track. Dragon Maids again. Man, I definitely could make my Dragon Maid deck soon. I also want to try and make. And the Witchcrafters. Okay. Malefic Divide, Evil Eye. I want to try. I wish that. I wish that the Firewall Dragon wasn't banned. Very much interested in making a deck around that. Cyber's Synchro. Cyber's Quantum Dragon. Wait a second. Oh no, that's different. Um, while you control Link Monster Monsters, you on the controls cannot target monsters. Yeah, but it seems like there's a lot of fun stuff to do with it with that. And there's also the uh, some other kinds of uh, firewall dragons. This dark dive kind of thing. I forget. Dark liquid. It's liquid liquid dive. I forget. But yeah, everyone. That is a good place to call this a series. Unless, of course, people reach out to me and let me know that there are more things they'd like to see me do. Maybe a, a particular deck or card you want to see me play, or I could even do videos explaining on some common practices that I do in trying to make decks and trying to improve them. So once again, let me know if there's any interest in that. Uh, reach out on Twitter at Inugami Gamework. It's Crusale Drask at Inugami Gamework. And also, the uh, my Twitter is linked in my channel, so you can check it out on my channel's page. So once again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you for the next series.